In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of modeling, shading, and rendering a simple glass. To begin, press A to select everything, then X to delete. Click on the red X to view the model from the side. Shift A and add in a cylinder. Tab into edit mode. Press S followed by Z to scale the cylinder in the Z direction. Alt-click on the bottom edge to select the bottom loop. Press S to scale the bottom loop to give the cup a taper. Go into face select mode and select the top face. Press X and select faces to delete the selected face. Now add a solidify modifier to give the cup some thickness. Adjust the thickness. Tab out of edit mode to apply the modifier. Now tab right back into edit mode. Select the bottom face, and then go into wireframe view. From the side view, hold down the control key and press B to bevel. Use the scroll wheel to increase the number of segments. Press G, followed by Z to move the selected portion in the Z direction, then S to scale. In edge select mode, alt select the bottom loop. Control B to give it a slight bevel. Back in solid view, add in loop cuts near the brim of the cup on the outside and inside. This will help the glass keep its structure when we add a subdivide modifier. Now add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the levels to 2. Tab out of edit mode to apply the modifier. Right click and select shade smooth. Now we'll add in an HDRI to give the model a realistic look with good lighting. In the world menu, under color, select environment texture. Open an HDRI. These can be downloaded for free from websites like Polyhaven. Now, in the render view, the background that was just imported can be seen. With the cup selected, go into the Material menu. Add a new material. Click on Principal BSDF and switch it to a Glass BSDF. Reduce the roughness. The cup is beginning to look like glass, but to make it look even more realistic, go into the Render Settings. Switch the Render Engine from EV to Cycles. Now the cup looks very realistic. The glass material perfectly reflects and refracts the light. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'd love it if you could like the video. Until next time, keep designing.